All right, Coach, if you would, please start with an opening statement. Um, obviously, hard-fought game there for three quarters. I thought they gave us a great shot. Um, playing tough, uh, playing together, and I thought, um, <clears throat> obviously, we were able to break away there in the fourth quarter, but it was a definitely kind of grinded out game. Maybe some nerves, I don't know, neither team shot it very well. First game nerves or whatnot. Um, but, uh, you know, nice to get one under the belt for, for not only uh, the girls, but, you know, our whole organization. Sometimes that first one's the toughest one. So we were able to grind it out, like I said, and, and walk away with a win. Obviously, there's some things that we can do better, um, especially on the defensive end. Offensively, I think we got some decent shots we missed. Um, but that's why the defense always has to be there. Nobody can anticipate who's going to make or miss on any given night. Um, what you're concerned with as a coach is are you getting quality looks? What kind of looks you're getting? And I thought we got some good ones. We just miss them. Um, but that's why the defense always has to be there. And for the most part, it was tonight. Becky, Chelsea's done it so many times in the fourth quarters, but another kind of vintage fourth quarter performance today. What did you think about that last 10 minutes from her? And did you feel like that flagrant foul kind of gave you guys some momentum for the final stretch? I mean, you watch Chelsea, you know she likes these moments. <laughs> so um, you feel very comfortable as a coach with the ball in her hands in big moments. Um, obviously, there's a lot of emotion, you know. Um, but she's not somebody that you want to make mad, I don't think. She's kind of been mad since about a month and a half, I think. <laughs> she's been ridiculous. Definitely. And then it seemed like the uh, Mercury had a lot of success offensive rebounding early in the game. Um, how did you feel like that impacted the game? And how did you guys kind of shut that off in the second half? I mean, I thought our initial defense was good. Um, and then you got to stop them two, three times on a possession. I mean, it's something we have to clean up. And it's something that the girls have to be intentional about. Um, it's been a problem, and our season will be defined by it. I've said that from the jump. Um, obviously, I thought Kia, obviously down the stretch, made some big plays, helps us a lot with her length and athleticism on the boards, in the paint. Um, but it's a, it's a team effort. You don't have to be big to rebound. What you do have to do is be deliberate, be intentional, um, understand angles, and go after it. You got to go hit a body, and then you got to go after the ball. And sometimes that means putting two or three bodies on somebody. Yeah, Coach, you know, in the old format, you had the um, first game, higher seed had to go on the road. Now you have these two games at home, but there's even a, a different kind of pressure. Obviously, we saw Chicago lose tonight. Did, did you guys talk about that a little bit, just how crucial it is to get this first win at home? No, I think the girls understand. In a three-game series, game one is super important. Um, you want to be very solid. We just want to take care of business. Um, but that being said, I like us on the road sometimes better than at home. Um, now, I don't want to go on the road, but uh, we definitely want to take care of business on Saturday. But if we do, and we eventually will hopefully have to go on the road, if we take care of business, then we go on, we go on the road. But it definitely puts a lot of onus on, on the home team initially. Hey, Coach, Trinia Barnwin on Noina Radio. Um, just talk about how you managed to keep the girls' emotions and t together after seeing Shea Petty go down with injury. Um, you guys already expected the Mercury to be shorthanded tonight, but then they kind of had that another person go down, and, you know, they kind of fought back a little bit. They tried to rally and galvanize for her. Um, talk about how you guys just managed to keep your composure. I mean, I don't know if anybody in this league has been dealt a tougher hand than Vanessa Nygaard, coaching-wise, um, for all the obvious reasons, whether it be injury, BG. I mean, it is, it's amazing that they're here, um, giving all the X factors that <laughs> um, she's been dealing with. Then to lose uh, Shay, um, who's 
basically been running the show. She's such a solid piece for them. Um, it it doesn't you don't really even think about keeping your team together because sometimes in those moments it becomes bigger than basketball. Like that completely sucks um, for them and for Shay. At that point, you know, it's going to be next man up, just like it always is, and you keep playing, but don't get it twisted. That is not a fun moment for either side, and especially for Shay. and hopefully it's not what we think initially it was. I don't know if there's been an injury or update report. I don't know, but I haven't heard anything. Becky, you noted some offensive struggles as a whole, but what did you see defensively from Kia and uh, Asia? Just rim protection towards the end. I mean, they, they come up with some big blocks. Um, you know, they each have three apiece. And, and I wish they kept this stat. I'm not sure if they do, but like just shots altered at the rim um, because it's one thing to get a piece of it, but it's another thing to see them flying out of you. And now you got to throw up some junk. Um, I wish there was, you know, I know in the NBA we track that kind of stuff, but I don't know if we have the technology quite yet to do it here but it would be interesting. Um, that being said, I wasn't thrilled with our paint defense. I thought their guards turned the corner quite a bit, got into the paint, and really put a lot of pressure on Kia and Asia um, to make plays. So I will be getting on our guards uh, a little bit more for allowing penetration to get that deep into the paint where we're calling on our help side all the time. I mean, we junked them a lot tonight. And so uh, for me, I don't like I would like to stop them man to man. Um, and the fact that we struggled a little bit with that is concerning to me. That is super bothersome to me. Um, but this is the playoffs. Everybody's going to bring, bring their best game. That's a team that's, you know, they just got to go out there and hoop. All the pressure is on us. Um, and so hopefully we got some first game jitters out of the way. And uh, I think you saw a little bit of what we could be during the fourth quarter. But um, it was kind of a crapshoot before then. Matthew, close us out. Hey, Becky, I know you just talked a little bit on Kia, but just to have a performance like this out of someone who, you know, isn't one of your stars and has been playing better over the last couple of weeks, you know, you always have to have big performances from those role players in the playoffs. Just what that means for your team and for her going forward, not just in this next game in the series, but the rest of the playoffs. I mean, this late stretch that we've had, I think she's been key not to – play uh, word games, Kia Kia. Uh, but she's been, uh, you know, that Seattle game, the block, I mean, she's just such a big presence. She's very smart. She's a very smart, uh, understands angles, her length, um, you know, and then we, we can put Illy in and give them a completely different look where now you really have to guard the three-point line. Um, you know, so it's nice to kind of have that combination. Um, but there are certain times where you know, your defense is struggling, and you, and you certainly miss Hamby um, being able to switch out onto some guards and keep them in front. Thanks a lot, Coach. We'll see you at practice the next couple of days and then back here on Saturday, 6 p.m. Pacific time against the Mercury Game 2 of the first round of the